guys, welcome back to Farmer Scoops' channel. Today's video, we are concentrating on two animals only. Uh, Melanie, our pedigree Shirley cow that we had the moo call sensor on, and the heifer that had her broken cleat. Uh, you'll see later on as we go through the video exactly what's happening with both of them. So look at if you like the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for weekly updates. I'm going to get back to what I'm doing here. It's an evening feed and we'll get to editing, editing this video later on tonight. Catch you in the next one. Welcome to my house, baby take control now. We can't even slow down, we don't have to go a while. Welcome to my house. Guys, good morning guys, how is everyone? Just to add into our next video, we have Melanie, our Shirley Pedigree Registered Co. We got a hit on Moo Call about an hour ago. Uh, high activity on tail movement. As you can see, she's going around here now. This is the early stages of calving. She's very anxious, uh, throwing, swishing her head, swishing her tail, and she's kicking her feet, which is telling me that she's having contractions, she's having pain. Um, the moo call is great in that sense. You know, it gives you that hour window to tell you that the cow is is having is having a high tail activity. And as you can see, she's kicking away there. That means that she's in the, in the early stages of calving. Now we got a false alarm three days ago, two days ago, two days ago, yeah. Of uh, the moo call getting a hit on tail movement. But I we just put that down to a false alarm or a false uh, a false labour. So as you can see now, she's chewing away on the straw. I'm going to leave her alone. I'm going to keep an eye. I have a calving camera in here as well, so I'm just going to keep an eye on the pin while I'm off around the farm doing other bits and pieces. And if she gets into any distress, I'm not too far away. So just on the moo call calving sensor, it's the first year that we started to use the moo call calving sensor. And we've had it on two cows since we got it. And within within literally an hour and a half to two hours after getting the first text message, we had cows calved. So this cow here is our second one. We got a hit about an hour ago, so I'm expecting she takes quite a considerable amount of time to calve. We could be here for the next three, four hours. She's She's always showing signs very early on that she's in labor or that she's in the, the calving period. So we're just gonna keep a close eye on her on the camera while I'm not in the shed with her because I do like to leave them to it and only intervene when I have to. The reason we got the moo call calving sensor is for some of these ladies. There's three here. There's another one here. And the lady that's down in the garden behind the sheds that has the, the hurt foot, they're all first time calvers. And that was the reason why we got the moo call calving sensor this year. Year on year, we do always calve down some first time calvers. And uh, this is just a bit of an added, an added bonus just to have so that for peace of mind that if I'm not here and the sensor picks up some tail activity, it's going to text me that there's high tail activity in the last hour and it'll give me an indication then to come to the yard or even just switch on the camera and see what's happening. And that is the most re that's the main reason why and I'm trying it out in our Charlies just to see because with I know I know all these Charlies, they're here, they're here a number of years, so I know exactly their calving traits and how long they carry over with cal with calves. Normally they don't carry over. She is actually due today. This is her due date and she's going to calve more than likely on her due date. Fingers crossed. Every sign is pointing towards that she is going to calve today. So hopefully all going well. And it, like that, Moo Call Cabin Sensor, I didn't buy it new, I bought it second hand, um, but it was never used. So I was basically the first user on it. Contacted Moo Call, they set it all up for me. All I had to do was switch it on and put it on the cow's tail and away it went. So delighted enough with that. A handy piece of kit. And all going well, we'll see see how the cabin season goes with these ladies with the Moo Call Sensor. Hopefully we'll have some success right with it. So guys, just in this one here, I have managed to take a screen grab of my calving camera, um, literally off my phone. This is basically what I'm looking at in real time. Um, when I'm checking on a cow that's due for calving, or that that's in the early stages of calving, and I, and I can be around the farm, I can be away from the farm, it works off Wi-Fi. I have Wi-Fi in the shed where the calving pins are. So basically, when I'm working away or I'm at home, I can keep an eye on certain things. As you can see here, this cow 
was just getting on with her business. She's lying on her side. Calf is half out there. You'll see her getting up now in a couple of seconds. And she'll do a small little swish and you'll just see the calf drop to the floor and she'll instantaneously just turn around and look at the calf on the floor and she'll start mothering it straight away, which is great. Here she goes now, just popping up. Calf is slinging there and she just lets it drop. She's straight away turning around, straight to the mothering stage, which is great to see. And I was watching this on camera while it was happening. I didn't have to be in the shed at all, so it's fantastic. And just like that, guys, we have a new foreign heifer calf on our farm today. Literally just calved in the last two to three minutes. I was watching on the camera. The moo call had given a second reading just on the brink of calving. And she calved literally about three minutes afterwards. We're over the moon here. Mammy's doing well and she's caring for her baby just perfect. He's a heifer calf, so that calf there is a half sister of hers. Right? Half sister, first cousin of his. Right? That mother there, that's her grandson. That's her daughter. So we have been up. We have been up, but we haven't sucked yet. We're just getting to know ourselves. Lovely little heifer calf. Also in today's video, we have our cow that had her sore foot. We had the hoof man here today. And he has pared down the bad part of the hoof, uh, right down to where it was nearly broken off. And he has put a double shoe on it. He's put a timber block on first. And he shaved that down a small bit to the shape of the claw. And then he went over that then with a plastic, a plastic uh, shoe or plastic block over that again, just to give that extra bit of height up off the ground. And he has iodined the bad part. He, he managed to get, there was a small bit of an infection as he managed to draw that out. So she's a tad bit tender on it now at the minute. So I'm just going to put in a straw bed in here and she's going to be housed in here until she is just about ready to get this little red bandage off. It's just going to give it a chance to let the, let the, uh, let's say that where he has paired off where the broken claw was, it's just going to give that bit of a chance just to grow back over and probably just get a small bit of a protective layer. It wasn't fully broke off. He did come on a part where it was still joined which is fantastic because that just means that there is something there to grow back on. Uh, it's just going to take a small bit. It's going to take a good bit of time for it to heal right. But I'm just delighted now that she's, we're on the right side of it, hopefully. She's 30 days off Kevin. I'm just watching her here now. She's kicking and kicking and hopping around a small bit and it's probably a sore in her. I can't give her any painkillers because she is in calf. I run the risk of giving her some anti-inflammatories or painkiller injections will possibly cause her to abort her calf and I'm not in, I'm not really I, I don't want to even think about or even run the risk of doing that she's a first time calver so I'm just trying to treat her as best can so I'm going to give her some new straw bedding in here and hope for the best and give her some silage and hopefully she can manage just to get on with it guys we'll tie in on this later on again and I'll hopefully have a small update for you and a bit of an improvement on her uh, we'll chat to you then so just a bit of an evening update on this lady. She's gone into her straw bed of pen now, give her first silage. She seems to have settled in nice. She's laid down the whole evening in front of the silage so she doesn't really have to venture too far. She, is, she has to get up to turn around for water, but um, she seems to be much better improved now and she's a lot more relaxed and settled in. So we'll just keep an eye on her, see how she, she, see how she gets on over the next couple of days. Hopefully we might see a better improvement in her foot. She seems to be putting a lot more weight on it anyway, which is a great thing. All right, guys, talk to you later. You should have the bacons on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a necessity.